now back on the cafe this morning is Hamilton Zoo's Dave Smart and he's going to tell us about enrichment for zoo animals. It is great to have you back, Dave. Thank you, Mel. Nice to see you. You've got a new khaki shirt? shirt same or khaki same shirt. Oh, Always the same. With your name on it, I like it a lot. Yep. Um, tell me all about this enrichment practices at the zoo. What's it all about? All right, so when you've got animals in zoos, they're not in the wild. They're not in their natural environment. We understand that. So there's a whole pile of things that they miss out on. Things like, uh, well, predators or uh, chasing something themselves. Yeah. Uh, there are weather events for them to deal with, but they're always controlled. So by enrichment, we're giving them challenges. We're giving them things to, to work out, challenges to overcome, to keep them physically and physiologically uh, and you know psychologically yeah. all of the P words um, keep them uh, mentally ticking, and, and, and a, ticking over and, and coming up with concepts and changing things up for them. So they just don't sit there like a big lump and do nothing. Exactly. Okay so what um, they need to problem solve and things. Can you talk through what Lucy the chimp is doing in this bit here? Yeah absolutely. So Lucy here is um, uh, this is a gigantic bamboo uh, wind chime. Now they've seen this before, she walks up to it. Now we've smeared honey all over that, so there's the big lick up the side. Yep. And she's giving it a big lick, tasty, tasty honey. And you can see those little holes in there? Yep. We actually put raisins in there, so they've got to work it out. And of course they're moving, so she's got to grab it. If she just goes for it, it'll move away from her. So she has to hold on to it and to, you know, for the, for the yep. treat to become hers. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so how yeah. often does she do things like this? Oh, every now and then. It's all part of the, the keeper's care for the animals. And what about the ring-tailed lemurs? Talk oh, us through what's yes. happening in this bit here. So these guys are so cute. And what we've got here is grapes in the bottom of a water cooler bottle. Now, you can see there, if you swing it round, it'll make you run away. But if you swing it round, eventually the grapes will fall out. Now, we had a bit of a failure with that one, but, you know, we've only got a couple of minutes here. By the next morning, grapes all gone. They figured it out. So it's a challenge. They overcame it. They made it happen. So why are these sorts of toys and activities important for the animals? Because they're not in their natural habitat. Yeah. As much as they want them to be, uh, we want them to be in their natural habitat, they're not. So we need to make sure that we keep their grey matter ticking over presenting problems, giving them challenges, keeping their lives interesting. It must be quite fun coming up with all those it is anyway. It's so fun, yeah, and really, really creative work on behalf of our zookeepers. Wow, well done. And the other thing that you want to mention is the Unmask Palm Oil yes. campaign. And what's all this about? So three days until our Minister Joe Goodhue and the Australian Ministers vote on whether palm oil should be called palm oil on packaging or should it be called any one of the other 200 names. Imagine if you had 200 names or if I had 200 be names. It'd be highly confusing. It'd be awful. I so get confused with just one. Unmask. You've got yours on your shirt. There you too. go. Sorry, yeah. keep going. Imagine if there was 200. I'd run out of <laughs> space. So, unmaskpalmoil.com. That's the website. Go there, have a look around, have a sniff, press the submit button, and you become uh, one of the voices calling for this. And we're pretty close to 100,000 people doing that, and that's what we're aiming for. That is awesome. Dave, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank Can you me. bring an animal next time? I keep saying that I will and I keep and saying yes and I done haven't it. done it yet. Hasn't done it. Well thank you so much for joining okay. us anyway. Mm -hmm. And we have a $50 Pet of the Week voucher available. Congratulations to four year old rescue dog Celo from New Lynn. You are the winner today. Celo's oh, eyes, look at them. Uh, you're the winner this week actually. So jump onto Facebook and post your favourite pet pick to begin to win as well. Pet of the Week is proudly brought to you by Pet.Kiwi, a one of a kind pet store that provides free vaccines to shelter animals. Thank you.